president in prime time. A year filled with the loss of life. After signing COVID stimulus into law, headed toward herd immunity. Somewhere by the end of the summer and the early fall. A shot to protect more than just yourself. And eve of an anniversary. Looking back on how Brianna Taylor's death changed America. It's all coming up on News Break. Hello, South Florida. I'm Zitlali Solache, and today is Friday, March 12, 2021. From the South Florida Media Network's Biscayne Bay Studios in North Miami, this is SFMN News Break. Evening address. President Biden goes prime time for the first time since winning the White House. It was a whole year after the COVID economic shutdown and mere hours after signing the COVID bill into law. Now, Karen Kafa from our news partner at CNN reports. He will, be, he will begin a campaign to promote the stimulus package. Finding light in the darkness is a very American thing to do. President Joe Biden marking a somber occasion one year since the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. A year filled with the loss of life and the loss of living for all of us. In a nearly 25 minute speech, Biden reflected upon more than half a million U.S. lives lost, praised Americans' resilience, and prepared the nation for more challenges ahead. The only way to get our lives back, to get our economy back on track, is to beat the virus. And talked about how he believes the nearly $2 trillion COVID relief package he signed into law Thursday afternoon is going to help restore normalcy to American life. All adult Americans will be eligible to get a vaccine no later than May 1. If we do our part, if we do this together, by July the 4th, there's a good chance you, your families and friends, We'll be able to get together. The speech, the kickoff of a campaign by the White House to let American voters know what they're getting. A new website that will help you first find the place to get vaccinated and the one nearest you. We can accelerate massive nationwide effort to reopen our schools safely. The effort will see Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris and cabinet members travel to multiple states to highlight federal aid programs funded by the bill and bat back against Republican criticism. Biden's first stop on the tour will be next Tuesday in Pennsylvania. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. In the president's speech, he mentioned being COVID independent by July 4th. Herd immunity will play a big role in that. 70 to 85 percent of the population would need to be vaccinated to reach that point. If you look at the planned rollout of the vaccines, that we would hopefully get to that point somewhere by the end of the summer and the early fall. If a significant number of people do not get vaccinated, then that would that would delay where we would get to that endpoint. Experts say that at a pace of two million doses per day, a good 70 percent of the U.S. population could be fully vaccinated by July. Today marks the eve of the anniversary for Brianna Taylor's death. On March 13th, 2020, Taylor and her boyfriend Kenneth Walker were inside of her apartment when Louisville Metro Police officers served a no-knock warrant related to a drug trafficking investigation. Officers say they knocked and announced themselves anyway. It's something Walker says he did not hear. He fired a warning shot into the hallway, hitting an officer. When officers returned fire, they hit Taylor five times and killed her. I think about my daughter. I have a daughter that's 21, um, you know, and that could have easily had been my household. Louisville has seen a week of demonstrations with even more planned for tomorrow's anniversary. An old way to watch your favorite movies is new again. That's still ahead, and so is the story. Before, it was less access to people. In honor of Women's History Month, a local photographer who is conquering the business world and the limitations of COVID all at the same time. News break. We'll be back in two minutes. If I could go back and change it all, I would. I, would. I think I'm going to miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's just a little moment. I could go back and change it all. I could go back. 
I would. But I can't. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother and her. I am totally a hot person. Right, guys? Thanks for being honest. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at theshelterpetproject.org. Today, I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. It's really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. A local photographer taking a shot at success and serving as a role model for other young women in the industry. This empowering photographer shares her creations in honor of Women's History Month. The network's Isabella Leon takes a close-up look. March is Women's History Month and we're keeping up with prominent women who contribute their creative works to society. Sister duo Haiti and Ima Garrett collaborate as model and photographer. Haiti Garrett, an FIT student, runs her own photography business right here in Miami, Florida. I get a lot of inspiration from Instagram. It's just like, I, I just follow so many people and I just love like visual inspiration. So seeing a bunch of pictures helps me all the time. And I just kind of, and a, and a lot from the person that I'm shooting. So like, if it's like my sister, for example, like, I'll be inspired by like how she likes to do her makeup and then just go from there and like build a concept out of it. The young photographer has taken photos of popular rappers like Asian Doll, as well as local designers such as Lisu Vega. When it comes to the ongoing pandemic and small businesses, Garrett has overcome the obstacle and her photography work continues to thrive. It's before it was less access to people, but now that people a little bit more comfortable with seeing others. Um, it's not that big of, a, of an obstacle. Haiti's go-to model happens to be her sister, Amai Garrett, who is also a YouTuber. She's very creative in all sorts of aspects. So there's the photography and then there's also creative direction and styling and what she wants for makeup and hair. And then so we're always able to kind of bring that idea to life together. And I think that's a very nice thing. If you want to check out more of Haiti's artwork or purchase, click on the link provided in her Instagram bio. For South Florida Media Network, I'm Isabella Leon. If you're missing movie theaters, you might want to hear about this. Showbiz cinemas are offering some ideas for large groups. The network's Jamilka Gibson has your front row seat. Showbiz cinemas in Homestead sold out for the second week in a row following the release of the hit film Tom and Jerry. The film premiered February 26 and has been the cinema's biggest success since their reopening following COVID. The theater began offering private viewings, hoping to make customers feel more comfortable coming out. 36-year-old Veronica Trevino went to go see the film with her two daughters, Anaya, who is 11, and Andrea, who is 17. Tom and Jerry, the movie was fun. It was nice and funny. I liked the movie, the movie was very nice. The family is considering renting out the theater for future events. Yes, we would rent it out, especially for a party or any other event. It would be nice to rent out. With the help of reclining seats, maintaining six feet social distance isn't as hard as it may seem. There's a 30 minute gap between the first show and the next show. We go through and sanitize and clean, and then we next let the next group of people in. 
And so they can feel comfortable uh, that we're going to that effort to make sure they feel comfortable when they come here. Face masks are required unless eating or drinking. Now, the social distancing, which people are reminded of constantly with stickers and signage, is actually physically maintained in the auditoriums in a brilliant way, which is our point of sale system was programmed so that when you and up to four people within your group buy tickets, then automatically the seats next to you, and in some cases, depending on the auditorium, two seats next to you your party are blocked out and they are not for sale. An auditorium can be rented out for as low as $99.99 for classic films, such as Monster Hunter, or $149.99 for new releases. However, packages are customizable. Guests can choose to bring their own discs that can be played in the theater's DVD players. A minimum of 20 people is needed to secure an auditorium. To reserve a room, visit showbizcinemas.com. Reporting for the South Florida Media Network, Jamilka Gibson. That's all the time we have for news break. I'm Zitlali Solache. Get more news anytime at sfmn.fiu.edu.